Dear Pak Rushdie, this is certainly an impressive way to begin the relationship between our two companies. We will be sealing the largest single order ever recorded by Airbus to date, both in terms of value and the number of aircraft involved. 234 aircraft with a catalog value of $24 billion or 18.4 billion euros. We are confident that the A320 family will not only meet, but will exceed the expectations of Lion Air and its passengers. And we look forward to a long, successful and mutual beneficial partnership between our two companies. Dear Pak Rushdie, dear friends from Lion Air, on behalf of everyone at Airbus, I would like to say Terima Kasi Banyak. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. With utmost gratefulness, today we are writing a chapter of Indonesia aviation industry in Golden Inn in front of distinguished invitee, witness, and by international audience. I would like to thank His Excellency President Francois Hollande for hosting this ceremony today in the most prestigious palace at the French Republic. Lion Air is a privately owned airline with more than 12 years of successful operation. It owns by me and by my brother 100%. We started with one aircraft in June 2000, and today we are operating over 100 brand new Boeing jets and ATR-72 turboprops aircraft. And we have order by today going to be happen 707 aircraft which delivery will be until 2027. Over the last 10 years, we have recorded strong passenger volume growth of 20% every year. And I'm proud to say that Lion Group has flown over 32 million passengers in 2012. It is expected to increase its traffic by 20% this year. I welcome you here for the largest ever contract of Airbus with a major buyer, impressive, 234 aircraft, 18 billion euros. It's an honor to European industry, but it also bears witness to the tremendous vitality of, Indonesian, of the Indonesian economy. Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world. It is a great democracy whose voice is respected throughout the world. Indonesia plays a major role within the G20. Indonesia has become a powerful economy, the very first one in Southeast Asia with a growth rate that is higher than 6% per annum. This is, of course, the debt-making industry. On the other hand, as Fabrice Berger said, Airbus, which is a matter of pride not just for France but for Europe, is one of the pillars of our economy. To conclude, the, the major Airbus contracts are an example for our economy, for what our economy can do, for what our economy must do as far as competitiveness is concerned, as far as research and innovation are concerned, as far as employee and staff training is concerned, but also in terms of marketing. And here you show that it's not just enough to have the equipment at the highest possible technological development level available, but you also have to be able to sell it and you have to able to purchase it. So our European ambition is not just to pursue, to continue this beautiful ADS adventure, but also to, con to design the type of ADS approach to other economic sectors with uh, our uh, economic partners. I should like to thank all those who have contributed to this, because the, we're talking here about our common future. Thank you.